The reverse quesarito over here at Taco Bell? Could be. Let's peep this out. YouTube and social media, peep this out guys, it's Ian K back again with another one for you. Over here at Taco Bell, here to take a look at the latest menu promo that looks to have a lot in common with the fan favorite quesarito. Now I'm a definite fan of that one, I think it's one of the best things they've got on the menu for sure, and if you're curious to see my thoughts on some of the versions they've had in the past, hit the card in the upper right hand corner of your display and definitely check out that playlist. I do believe it's one of the best things they've ever made. Even if it's a little bit of a copy from another famous chain that makes pretty awesome burritos in general. But guys, the new thing that they've got going right now, looks to take the quesarito concept and basically turn it inside out. Take a look at these new brand new cheesy core burritos. Right on the outside as the name implies guys, it's got a very cheesy middle. So instead of the quesadilla being on the outside of the burrito, they've actually rolled it up taquito style and put it in the middle. And of course, because it's Taco Bell, we're gonna get two different versions of this concoction over here guys. One that actually has some crunchy chips and the one that we're gonna be taking a look at which is actually the spicy version. And I'm definitely excited to check that one out because after doing the triple double crunch wrap not that long ago, which again, you can find on that playlist right over here, it was really, really something special. I really enjoyed the sizzle on that one. Very curious to see what the jalapenos are gonna add to this particular one. So let's see if this one truly delivers, guys. And in this case, let's see if the spicy steak version of it delivers. That's right, I'm going with the steak with this particular one because we are going premium all the way. So let's get right up on it before we take that first bite, guys. Let's go in and peep this out. The best way to serve warm melted cheese is in the center of a beefy burrito. Taco Bell looks to deliver that cheesy blast from the inside out with their all new cheesy core burritos, and in this case, the spicy steak version. Now guys, on the surface, this looks like any other form of burrito you've probably ever had from Taco Bell, but of course, it's all about what's on the inside. So let's split this one down the middle and see exactly what makes this one stand out. All right, I'm getting a whole journey to the center of the earth with this one, guys. Take a look at the cheesy goodness that's rolled up inside a second tortilla in the middle. That's a combination of a three cheese blend and nacho cheese sauce, along with sliced jalapenos. Encompassing all of that, we've got some of their delicious steak, we've got some of their Latin rice in there, looking very nice indeed, and some reduced fat sour cream along with a red sauce. But man, that is looking to pack a serious punch. And it smells absolutely heavenly right now. The cheese is very pronounced in the car right now. If this is truly another hybrid version of the quesarito just in reverse form. It looks like it definitely wins in the looks category because the cheese is really nice in the middle right there. So let's get into this one a little further guys. This is the all new spicy steak cheesy core burrito over here at Taco Bell. You know we gotta peep out this flavor. New cheesy core burritos only at Taco Bell. Wow, the smell of cheese on this is pretty fantastic, guys. Take a look at that shot right there. There it is, all the jalapenos in the middle. Peep that out up close one more time. A lot of meaty, cheesy goodness all together. This is a pretty dense situation as well. Let's give this a shot. The spicy steak cheesy core burrito over here at Taco Bell. Mmm. That was an awesome heated cheese blast right there, guys. Look at that. That is really fantastic. The nice tenderness of that steak is really dovetailing in with the rice, which is really awesome. So all the flavors are beginning to pop right there. But man, those jalapenos, just like on that triple double crunch wrap, stand out so nicely. And because of that cheesy middle that it's got, you're getting a concentrated cheese blast. That is really cool. Mmm. It's pretty thick, and I do have to say the steak has a lot to do with that on top of all of the rice on the inside. But there is definitely a sizable portion of cheese in here to go with it, guys. The red sauce is adding a little bit of heat as well. I'm not really tasting it too much. It's just more of in the background. And that's primarily because of the jalapenos really taking the center stage on top of that cheese squirt that you're getting right there. That is really pretty tasty. If you guys are a fan of Taco Bell in general, you already know what to expect ingredients-wise. But when you get it concentrated with a lot of the cheesy goodness that a lot of people know and love from Taco Bell, it just adds to it. The light snap of the jalapeno is also pretty ridiculously tasty. Another thing that I like about this is that sometimes when you do get the quesarito, the cheese is actually spread out a little unevenly around it. So sometimes when you get a bite, it's pretty much just the standard burrito that you already know from Taco Bell. With this version of it, with the cheesy core, it's concentrated all throughout the middle. So every bite that you're getting as you're going in, you're getting a little bit of everything, which is awesome. And it's for that very reason alone that I do think this is truly within the family of the quesarito line because it really is a reverse quesarito. That's really all that this is. Add the jalapenos, that really adds the punch. On its own, I do recommend the spicy version. This is pretty killer. Really, really tasty. The cheesy core burritos over here at Taco Bell. Definitely gonna be getting this again, definitely.
Man, I really like that. I mean, how can you not? It's the same basic five or six ingredients Taco Bell has been putting out for so many years now, just in a different configuration and some pretty fun marketing to go with it there. But on a whole, what they're advertising here works pretty well. It really is a reverse quesarito to me. I think it has a lot of the flair of the quesarito in this one, but with that concentrated cheese cylinder that you've got down the middle right there to keep it all together, it really makes everything very even. It's a very even distribution across the board. So pretty much every bite that you're gonna get with that is gonna be exactly what you should be getting as they're advertising here. And in this case, the jalapenos work very well with this one, guys. Just like the Triple Double crunch wrap that I reviewed not that long ago, it works on a lot of levels and it adds the right amount of spice. It's the very pickled jalapeno type, but it goes so well with the cheese itself there. And of course, all the good stuff around it there. The only thing for me, however, the red sauce is pretty non-existent. A little bit of the light sour cream that's in there as well is gonna add the usual flavor of Taco Bell anyway. But clearly the jalapenos really light up this one with that cheesy middle, guys. So really, really very, very well done. So when it's all said and done, for me at least, on that bomb sexy fear face scale of one to 10, the spicy steak cheesy core burrito is gonna get a very high nine out of 10. This is easily one of the better things on the menu from Taco Bell because it really is emulating what's already there. We already know it, guys. It really is the quesarito on the reverse tip. And it's got a couple of cool choices that you can get to customize the very middle of it there. In addition to customizing it with a little bit of extra things that you can do anyway within the Taco Bell app or you can just order it on your own. But getting the spicy version as advertised with the steak was truly a bomb sexy situation, guys. The steak itself was very tender. I really enjoyed this in particular and I'm easily gonna get this one again. Hey, if you guys are fans of the quesarito, which I know a lot of you guys already are and you've tried this one already there, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think they are comparison wise. Which one do you like better? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this one. This is actually a very cool alternative. And that's it for now, gang. This is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out over here at Taco Bell, taking a look at what could be the little brother, the little cousin possibly, of the quesarito itself, the all new spicy steak cheesy core burrito, a truly tasty, tasty item on the menu right now. Guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check me out over at peepthisoutreviews.com and keep in touch with me at all the addresses that you see right above me. Because after all, this is Peep This Out, baby. You know how we do. We'll definitely talk to you next time. Stay frosty. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to send a special shout out to each and every one of you guys. August 15th is actually my official three year anniversary of Peep This Out. Super excited about the future. A lot of great stuff from CraveCon this past weekend. You're gonna see some stuff during the week. A lot of my peers are putting out videos already. So definitely look for something coming from me a little bit later this week. But guys, three years of doing my channel, at least two videos a week, having a blast every single time, interacting with everybody at the same time as well. It's an experience I wouldn't trade for anything. And after just hitting a million total channel views ahead of CraveCon, everything feels amazingly bittersweet. And as I always say, that would not be possible without the love and support of each and every one of you guys. So thank you so much for being there, for really supporting the channel, for commenting on my content, for really giving me the direction that you think the channel should go, helping me evolve, helping me change. There's a lot of fun stuff to look forward to in the future. The evolution is always gonna continue. And after CraveCon right now, let me just tell you guys, an amazing, amazing experience. It was so incredible to meet creators that I'm actually a fan of as well, and also to meet all of you guys up close who attended the show. That was just amazing in its own right. Taking pictures, signing autographs, answering questions, and really just talking shop about all the stuff that we know and love here on YouTube and the category of food review in general. It really was an amazing experience. So guys, thank you so much for your love and support. You're always gonna hear me say it there, whether it's Instagram, whether it's on my content. Stay tuned as we march forward, and until the next review, I'll talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.